everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a little fall um, makeup look and then I'm going to be telling you guys about the baby because I know you guys have guessed it since I've been missing so long where I was and yeah I had or we had our baby um, she was born September 20th first I'm gonna prime my face she was born September 20th at 4.30 in the evening, p.m. And yeah, well, I went into labor. Um, it was, I think, Thursday, because she was born on a Friday. So yeah, I went into labor on a Thursday and Thursday, it was like 11 o'clock at night, and I went into labor. We came, um, I woke my husband up, I was like, I think I'm having a baby. So we went into the hospital. I'm just putting color corrector here because, you know, with a newborn, you don't get a lot of sleep at night. So yeah, I got a little tired eyes, so you know, I'm still trying to live my best life. So I just put that on, then I just kind of pat it in with my fingers like that. And then when I put foundation on top of it, you don't see any under eye. Yeah, I went into labor at like 11 o'clock, um, but I started having contractions, but we still didn't go into the hospital until like I do say it was like two three something like that let me get this brush um we started off for the hospital at like I'm gonna say I think it was like two o'clock because we got there at three yeah like two o'clock we started went in and then we got there, they took me in right away. Anyways, so we got there at like three and they took me in right away and I was dilated to a three, I think. And then they had to, I was laying there for a while cause they didn't know if they were gonna send me home or if I was just gonna have her that day. And then I was laying there and they said, okay, they're going to come in, break my water. So they broke my water and then they let me, they, I was still dilated to a three. So they broke my water and then I just laid there, waited, waited, waited. I figured after they broke my water, you know, baby's gonna come right away, but nope, she didn't. So yeah, I had to wait and wait and wait. So we waited for, I think it was the next morning. They gave me something to help with my contractions and everything. But then um, I just sat there and waited. And then at like, I, I'm trying to remember the time. Um, it was like three, no, it was like two o'clock the next day, like afternoon. Oh, they came by and they were like, okay we're gonna give you some pitocin to help you you know add more contractions or whatever so the baby comes faster or to help me dilate more and so they put me on pitocin for like three seconds and then uh, the nurse was like she's gonna check me see how far I'm dilated so she looked and here I was already in eight so they just took me off the Pitocin so I didn't have to be on it after all. And I was so glad because I heard that 
you know, hurts a lot more, but so I didn't have to be on it. And then I'm just setting my face now, you guys. And yeah, so they did that. I'm trying to think. And then, like, a couple minutes later, they came back in. They were like, okay, we're going to um, start pushing in a couple minutes or get you to push in a couple minutes. So, you know, just so you're ready for it, whatever. So I was just laying there. My nose is so itchy. Good grief. I was just laying there waiting, you know, come on, people. And then finally they came in and they said, okay, we're ready. And so I started and then I had her 45 minutes later, which was amazing. It was the most amazing thing that ever happened in my life. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. And she was born at 4.30 that day and she was six pounds, five ounces. And she was 18 inches long. And she's the cutest little girl ever. I'm just bronzing up my face, you know, cause your girl gotta look like she's glowing because I haven't been in the sun for a while. Ooh, look at that highlight. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. I was thinking about doing like a Q&A since you guys don't really know that much about me, like doing a Q&A and officially introducing myself a little more, but yeah, I just haven't gotten to it. So anyways, there's the face makeup. Let's get into the eyebrows. My eyebrows, I do them pretty simple. Um, I know I'm not a pro at this. But you know, I try my best. This is them, we'll just leave it like that. So, um, the next thing is the eyes. Mm -hmm. My favorite part. So let me get my little blender brush. And I just got this palette from Marshalls, I think. It's like $2 and I loved all the colors. Or fall and I was like you know what I'm getting that so I got it I'm just gonna put this tan color brown color all in my crease okay so I did I used this shade I just put it all over and then I'm gonna go in with like this shade here and I am going to take it, mix it with this shade, and just like put it on here. Like just tap it on, just the outer corner. And then maybe blend a little bit in. See how that is? Ooh, I like it. Grab a little bit. Looks a little folly, and that's what I was going for. So blend it in a little bit more there. See? Mmm, that looks good. So let's do that on this side. Okay. Woo! She is shining, people. And I'm going to take this darker brown color and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. Oof. That just makes everything look so much better. 
Pickles. So what I'm going to do is cut my crease. So let's get it. Done here. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edge, I'm just going to go like three fourths away. going to take this brush. I'm going to spray the brush. Woo. Go away, go away. And then I'm going to take this gold one and this light one and just pack it on the brush like crazy. And then I'm just going to take it and pack it on and just pack it on. Okay, so did that side, now let's do the other side. Okay. Now, let me take this brush and I'm gonna go back in with that like nude color and just like blend this all in Blend these edges in a little bit, you know, make it look a little better. Kind of connect those two. Look at that, you guys. Oh my word. Are you tripping? Together. Okay, so there's that. You like it? I kind of like it. I think it looks very good. And I'm going to take this light shade down here and put it up here. Kind of by my brows. You know, to highlight that and then put it in my inner corner. That look good? Oh yeah, that looks good. Let me curl my lashes. And then I have something special for my eyelashes, you guys. That I got from wish.com. Yes, my favorite website. But what it is, is magnetic eyelashes. So, the thing you have to do is you have to put on this eyeliner and then these stick to it. So let me get this on, put my eyeliner on. Okay, let me see if that's enough. I don't know how much I have to put on because it didn't come with directions. It just, the eyelashes just came and oh, they were kind of stuck together. Okay, so let me see. I think this one would be for this eye. Let me see, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it worked. 
don't think I have enough on though. So let me put some more on. Let's see if that's enough. I'm gonna freak out if this works. Oh, I'm gonna love it. Look at that. Mm, look at it. It just keeps falling off. I don't know what it is about this edge. The edge one doesn't want to stay on. Oh my word. Okay, so the magnet works, but the only problem is it just doesn't stick hard enough. It just keeps flying off, you guys. Look at this. What the world? Come on, eyelash. Help me here. You know it's not working. It ain't working, you guys. Well, this is the best that I can apply these things. And I feel like if you'd go out in the wind, they would just blow off. Uh, so the magnet eyelashes would work if you would just be sitting here like this. And as you can see, like the corners are still rising a little bit. But this is the best that they can do, so I'm just gonna leave them like, like, can you see the corner here and here? Like, it always just comes up, just keeps on going up, so yeah, that's the best you can apply those. So, let me do the lips, though. The lips, I'm just gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills, just like a matte lips, uh, liquid lipstick. look ever anyways yeah so there we go this is the look that I did I know the lashes are just extreme but this is what I could do with these lashes and I'm probably gonna throw them away and never use them again so it looks like I have something on my teeth no I don't okay good so here we have it So let me know what you guys think about this look in the comments down below. Okay guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!